Perhaps at some time or other, you have heard on your radio buzzing or whistling sounds which seem to come in rhythmic patterns, and you may have wondered what they were. This is the International Morse Code, language of radio operators the world over, a method for transmitting letters, numerals, and punctuation marks by means of groups of dots and dashes forming certain patterns of sound. Surely, it would seem easier to transmit and receive messages by speaking. Why, then, is code used? Firstly, the equipment required for transmitting and receiving code is much simpler, less costly, less bulky. Second, the high-pitched single tone of the code cuts through static and radio interference and can be received intelligibly where voice transmission with its complicated sounds just wouldn't get through. Third, the transmission of the code by CW, that's continuous wave, requires a much narrower frequency space than does the transmission of speech. This is important in the crowded ham or radio amateur frequency bands. In general, the distance range of code transmission for a given amount of power output is substantially greater than that of voice transmission. In learning the code, it is essential to think of dits and da's rather than dots and dashes. The letter A, dot dash, for example, should be thought of as dit da, because that is how it sounds in code, whereas dot dash would be clumsy and retarding. The letter B, dash, dot, 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 must be thought of as da dit dit dit, which can be said and thought of much more rapidly and accurately than dash dot dot dot. Think of a dot as dit. Think of a dash as da, which is equal to three dits in time length. Think of the time interval between the elements of a letter or number as equal to one dit in time length. Think of the time interval between words or groups as equal to seven dits in time length. Look over the alphabet and numerals on the instruction manual. Don't count the dots and dashes that make up each letter or numeral as you memorize it. Think of the letter or numeral as a complete sound. You will soon realize that each character has its own individual cadence or rhythm. And when you hear that particular sound rhythm, the letter or numeral it stands for will pop instantly into your mind. When practicing, concentrate on that and nothing else. This is especially important when you're first memorizing the code. To get the characters fixed in your mind, you must clear your mind of everything else and concentrate. Do not study the code for long periods. You will learn faster if you study each day for a reasonable time. There is no magic shortcut to learning the code. You must study consistently, and your progress will be directly proportional to the amount of the time you spend practicing. Be patient and confident. You will learn the code if you apply yourself. Don't worry about developing speed at first. Remember, speed comes with practice.